What is up, YouTube? Okay, so today I have the iPal third generation phone holder, and this is a silicone phone holder for on dash in your vehicle. Got this off of Amazon for around, I think, $12. There's some pictures on how you can use it. Chinese, Japanese, engineered, and or made. Got a nice little quote up there. Anywhere you need it, just do it. Enjoy it. Kind of an interesting quote. <laughs> um, some pictures here. Made in China, right down there. Somewhat of a uh, interesting product for how they designed it. There's been a couple different generations of uh, engineering for something like this on Amazon. Some of them have a, uh, a hard plastic base and multiple points where you can kind of hook in those little legs there to hook in your phone to your vehicle. Uh, so this one was the third generation. Figured I'd give it a shot for around 10 to $12. It's definitely worth it. Pretty high reviews. Again, it is an Amazon product. Not directly from Amazon, but sold by Amazon. And uh, there you go. You got the iPal logo right there. This thing is a flexible car mat. Let's see there. Really flexible, malleable and everything like that. And you have multiple mounting points for those uh, plastic brackets on the front. You should set that on your dash somewhere. And these, uh, I believe these plastic pieces, yeah. They're sticky, kind of like stick them under here. It's really sticky. Um, they say it doesn't harm your dash. Uh, I would still kind of be a little careful on where you put this. Maybe test it out, try it out first. There's uh, five different sticky points or whatnot. Even if you don't use these, this part right here is pretty grippy. Not super sticky, but it's somewhat grippy. So if you have a flat surface where you can kind of put this on, put your phone up there, I think it would work pretty good. Uh, it's square. The second generation, I believe, had kind of like a concave, convex on uh, on both sides, which was, eh, didn't really look that great. This looks a lot more premium, more professional and, and, and whatnot. A lot more mounting options also with the, uh, the, uh, the points for the plastic inserts here. You get a little insert for... Uh, Insert rubber parts into silicone mat. Okay. Remove five round, whatever that is, membranes on the bottom. Oh, okay. That's the uh, sticky parts. Get the mat, the rubber parts, uh, and then you can decide exactly where you put them and put your phone in there, and there you go. You're pretty much set. There are the inserts. These are rubber, so they do move. Squishy and whatnot. Doesn't feel like uh, low quality. Feels like pretty, uh, pretty nice quality, which is always a good thing. Got the little inserts on the bottom there that fit into those little slots. And so I basically believe you would decide to put those in wherever you choose on either side. And put that on your dash somewhere. And uh, you're pretty much set. So uh, I'll see if I can put these in here. And then uh, try it out. All right, so this is what it looks like. Fully inserted, those rubber pieces hook into the rubber mat on both sides. 
and there's an adjustable uh, margin that you can kind of move them in and out depending on what device you're putting in there. I have an iPhone 7 right here. Pretty sturdy. Um, these move from both sides. That little piece right there, those, uh, those circles, they slide in there and then they move in and out based on both sides, based on the size of your device and whatnot. And uh, pretty cool. I mean, it hooks in really nice. There's the, the logo and everything. Turn this on here. So you can see it hooks on both sides. Doesn't obscure the screen at all, anything like that. And uh, you can see you would set that right on your dash. It's pretty sturdy, to be honest. I mean, and it's flexible on the bottom. So depending on where you put it, this would be really an ideal solution for, uh, for mounting something where you want GPS navigation, etc. cetera. And uh, you want it on your dash and whatnot and you know it's pretty nice you know if you get google maps or something like that on there it doesn't obscure the screen at all and you can always adjust these uh, you know adjust your phone within how you mount these on the sides and then if you want to move them in more if your device is smaller or move them out more if your device is larger you can always do that pretty cool uh, economical and everything. Turn this around the back here. Um, those holders and stuff like that, you could even use it as put on your dash as almost like a dash cam setup where it records and stuff like that. Again, on the bottom, you have those five sticky mounts. If you so choose to remove those, obviously most people will stick those on your dash. And it's even more secure. Pretty nice. I mean, for like ten to twelve dollars, I forget exactly what it was, but from Amazon via iPow, uh, that's the brand name. It was pretty cool. Pretty nice. I can't really complain. Flexible, uh, useful. So uh, I'd highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.